Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got to share this warning. It will have to do with the people on the eastern coastline. This is Thursday, September 6th. Right now it's 9.42 a.m. Um, one of y'all sent me this video. It's by Mr. MBB333. He's calling it Epic Event, Newly Forming Hurricane, Doing Something Extraordinary. Oh my, yeah. Listen to this. There's a dust cloud. Let me let me let him tell you. Let me let you listen. Let me back this up. Okay. So now we are at uh, ten o'clock tonight, or actually eleven o'clock tonight. This was done on the fifth. And you can see the sand is starting to sand. rotate counterclockwise in, in the storm system. Check this out. We're going to move it ahead what? three more hours at a time. Seriously. Storm is moving west. That's Bermuda. Bermuda is probably about to see something really rare in about four days if it continues on its same path. Check this out. This thing is becoming loaded with sand from the Sahara Desert. I never thought I would see something like this. Look at that. That extends several hundred miles. You've got a Cat 4 major hurricane wrapped in desert dust and it's going to carry it okay i'm gonna just play that much because uh he has one of those channels where it has commercials and everything and he probably doesn't you know want you to download and re-upload or whatever so i'm gonna leave the link and if you're on the eastern coast it, i mean the way he's showing it the projection looks to be I mean, you know how they are. It, like the one we just had, it was supposed to hit New Orleans, and uh, and I don't know how much damage they got, but it ended up cutting north and coming straight up through Alabama. Now, all we got up here in Birmingham was drizzly rain all day. So in our city, I, d I haven't heard or seen anything of any damage. Okay, they're just talking about major political stuff on the weather, but... Um, I'm just in and out of rooms now and then and just catch a brief little bit of the news. So I haven't heard anything about, you know, oh, did you hear all the storm did this or that? You know, people love to talk about that stuff. So anyway, they do change course. And I don't know about how the sand from the Sahara, how in the world could it even, well, you know, we pray, let the Lord's will be done. And if this is something he wants to smack Washington, D.C. with, then so be it. Or whatever. Whoever. New York. It could go up to New York. Whew. Let's keep an eye on this, okay? I'm going to end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you as well and all your devices. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. And I did uh, got several videos in my email. One was about the Feast of Trumpets. Uh, one was about the Catholic Church. And can you really be truly born again and stay in it? And I may, might be sharing that one. I'm not sure yet. Um, there was another one. So I've been trying to clear out my email. But I want to get... The Feast of Trumpets is like six days or three, three days I need to get that done okay so maybe I'll just find the best video I can and share it we just I think the Lord wants us to know about them and what they mean and many of you might not okay I know a lot of you do okay a lot of you are seasoned Christians some of you have and even celebrate them but the one thing about the Feast of Trumpets, if you read in Leviticus 23, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let me end this one, and I'll go ahead and tell what I know of it. I need to get that done. That's all I need. I just need to get it done before I take a nap. And, uh, gosh, it's only 9.46 a.m. I'm it still ties them. It's just really knocking me for a loop, so... 
I'm not getting stuff done the way I want to, okay, just, it'll be okay, you get, you know, I talked to a nurse, a Blue Cross Blue Shield nurse followed up with me yesterday, right after the, I got a, I get a nurse once a week for six weeks, and then a nurse's aide comes once a week for six weeks, and she helped me get a bath and wash my hair. See how fluffy it is? Because I just kind of blew it dry as best I could, as quick as I could, and just let it turn out however it wanted, basically. And Anyway, that wears me out to do that. So, um, I'm just kind of struggling here with the fatigue. And anyway, anyway, the nurse that called from Blue Cross told me that she's on diltiazem for AFib. Um, she had a supraventricular tachycardia with AFib. And see, she's still working as a nurse as long as it stays under control. My brother, as a Marine, had it. See, stress can bring it on. Stress can cause it. Really major stress, you know. Plus, if you drink a lot of coffee which he did, and, and nurses tend to do. I did as a nurse. I drank a lot of coffee, but when my problem started, I think I had already cut back on the coffee, so I and I'd already gotten away from my husband, so I got rid of all that stress, and, and I had got a dog. My little dog was a puppy, and we I was walking him like five times a day, so it was a physical stressor for me then. But anyway, I didn't mean to get off into all that. I plead the blood of Jesus on this video, the internet connection, and I'll reach every one of you as well. And I'll be back soon with something on Feast of Trumpets, just so you'll know what it's all about. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.